is Makia James and I'm a training manager with Firestone. Today, we're here to talk about a condition that occurs while riding your tractor on the road called radial runout. I'm here with Brad Harris, who is a Firestone engineer. He's going to tell us a little bit more about that condition. Brad, what do we need to know? All right, so with radial runout, what is occurring is the tire and the wheel assembly is not concentric or round around the center of the axle. Okay. So what we have to do is try to loosen all of the hardware, mm -hmm. find the high spot, find the low spot, and position that wheel so that we've got a perfectly round assembly. So when it comes to radial runout, when you're driving a tractor, is that something you can feel? Yes, it is something as you're going up and down the road. At certain speeds, it's uh, aggravated a little bit more versus slower speed. So as you're going down the road 20 to 26 mile an hour and you start having that hopping feeling, mm -hmm. that's an indication that something on that equipment is not round. Okay, awesome. So you're going to tell us how to fix it, right? That's correct. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to take and drive the tractor up and down the road for 15, 20 minutes so that the tires can get hot, we can get rid of any flat spots that may have occurred as it was sitting overnight. After we get the tractor warmed up, we'll bring it into a, a shop or on a paved surface, flat level, and we'll jack the tractor up and start checking each position. Once we get the axle off the ground, we will pull a roller cart or a table, some firm measuring point mm -hmm. up to the side of the tire. We'll mark every lug or every other lug on that uh, tire, and then we'll just start measuring the distance between the tire lug and that fixed bench or that fixed point. Okay. As we go through, we'll record the distances, and that will tell us if we are have a high spot or a low spot. Okay. Looking at this measurement, our low spot would be between lugs 15 and 17, and our high spots would be between around lug 5 and 7. So looking at the paper, spots 17 and 15 were the low spot. They had the greatest distance between the stationary object and the tire. Spots 5 and 7 were the high spot. Those were the closest to the table. So what we want to do is rotate the assembly so that lugs 5 and 7 are at the 12 o'clock position. We will loosen the lug bolts at the axle hub, tighten those back up, loosen the lug bolts at the waffle wheel, allowing that to shift down, tighten those back up. We will retake our measurements to make sure that we have a round assembly. After that's been confirmed, We'll take it on the road and make sure that we've got that smooth ride that we expect from our brand new piece of equipment. Well, thank you, Brad. That was very good information. But one last question before you go. What if this doesn't work? After you've completed all these steps and you still cannot get a round assembly, please contact your local Firestone Ag dealer or contact Firestone directly at firestoneag.com.